Okay. Terima kasih banyak. Good evening, everyone. It's very, it's happy. I'm very happy to be back to the circulation in Sabah to uh, at least give some information and uh, through online seminar tonight. Jadi saya mungkin masih bisa bicara bicara bahasa Indonesia. Jadi nanti campur campur lah bisa oh, Inggris dan bahasa Indonesia kalau kalau bisa. Okay, so our our first topic is about worship. Ya, yeah. karena uh, sekarang gereja gereja kita itu uh, especially our young people ya yeah, are confused ya yeah, banyak di gereja kita itu sudah confused apa sih bagu yang musik yang bagus jadi saya pikir the only reason we can solve the problem ya yeah, the issue of uh, confusion is to understand what are the music for for Adventists? I mean, kita itu orang Advent ya. Kalau musik itu kita always relate to our worship. Karena kita punya uh, always uh, use music in our worship. So tonight, before we understand, you know, kasi tahu semua itu topik-topik nanti, kita itu mulai dari what is worship and what are the elements of worship? Karena kalau kita tahu uh, what is worship, then mungkin we can solve a lot of problem because we will use, kita mau cari musik yang uh, bisa dipakai di worship kita. Now, we can only understand what good music, what what music is good for us seventh day adventists if we understand kalau kita mau uh, mengerti dulu untuk apa ini music kita jadi kita we want to understand first our music like for example ya kalau kita kalau if i think about it music is just like our our clothes our dress ya kita jadi kita mau mau cari yang yang clothes-nya itu baju yang appropriate for occasion ya kalau kita ke party atau kita ke beach kalau kita ke mall kita itu cari uh, yang cocok okay we want to look for clothes that are appropriate for the occasion jadi kalau kita mengerti what is the occasion that we are going to have, then we will look for music that will be appropriate for our worship. Now, sebelum kita talk about worship itu, I want to ask you in Malaysia, ya, mau tanya, uh, di Malaysia itu bagaimana sih worship in your churches today? Uh, can you describe, maybe a few of you can say something, yeah? Uh, for a few minutes, what what is the atmosphere in your regular worship, in a regular Sabbath? Can anyone um, uh, say something? Maybe two or three people can share. What's what's going on in your worship? I mean, uh, how is your how is the worship atmosphere? Is it uh, solemn or is it noisy? See children running around, people talking, using cell phone. What, what's the condition in Malaysia? Anyone, please? Ada yang bisa describe uh, a regular Sabbath in Malaysia? Worship. Okay, jadi macam mana? Macam mana keadaan di tempat kita? Um, kalau waktu ibadah, waktu kebaktian, adakah bising ataupun um, apa itu solem saya yang senyap senyap atau macam mana? Okay, siapa-siapa boleh bagi 
bagi okay, boleh share. one or two. Siapa yang bisa share your observation in your church? Gak ada. Maybe you can. <laughs> <laughs> Mungkin malu-malu lagi, sir. <laughs> oh, ada. Tapi uh, unmute. Unmute. Uh, unmute user 868-917. Yeah. No, sir. Okay. <laughs> Mimi? Yes, sir. Hi. Hello. Hi. How wonderful. Wonderful Good to, to see, see you. you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our church okay. is mostly uh, retirees. Okay. And uh, at times it is solemn because during worship time... As an elder, I usually require them to prepare their hearts for worship and uh, listen attentively. But during the school holidays, when school children are back, yeah, we do have a little bit of noise with many children there. Okay, thank you, sir. Mimi? Yes, sir. Um, my church uh, is just a uh, I mean, uh, just a chabang. Uh, we don't have music uh, teacher. I mean, music specialist in our uh, church. So sometimes our church is very uh, quiet. And sometimes we have uh, guitarists from the youth. And uh, also from the college uh, college uh, matriculation uh, school um, student. So um, I can say that our um, our church is very very um, need uh, this uh, uh, music uh, teacher to be in our church. Yeah. So. That's that's all I can share. Yeah, thank you, sir. Nice okay. meeting you again. Nice meeting you. Okay, all right. So uh, maybe we will understand more why I want to discuss first, yeah, about worship as we finish the whole thing until tomorrow night. So may I present to you now my as an introduction to our I mean the first topic for tonight. Uh, sir yes yes uh, we have some some responses in the chat box okay also. please please can you start can you read them okay um saya baca yang beberapa uh, okay sebelum itu kita punya kita punya uh, zoom sudah uh, zoom room kita sudah penuh sudah 100 Tapi yang lain boleh mengikuti melalui uh, Facebook dan YouTube Sabah Mission dan juga um, Pastor Bernard itu kepayan kah tu? Lisi, Lisi Ministry. Ya, yang uh, boleh juga mengikuti di Facebook dan YouTube ya. Kalau yang tidak dapat masuk di Zoom. Okey. Uh, Ini malu-malu kami mau bercakap dia bilang se. Okay, uh, tunggu mana sudah ini. Ay. Okay, most of the time anak-anak bermain dan church members uh, talking. <laughs> okay, malu-malu bercakap. Mostly, mostly solemn. Depends dengan gereja juga ada sewaktu worship gereja akan diam ada juga yang agak bising sometimes during singing congregation aren't singing together so kind of like solemn during the morning worship okay Brexter said agreed surely depends on the praise team on how to invite the congregation to be engaged Yvonne kadang jika ada special song ada music instrumental yang rancak seperti drum tidak pasti diterima atau tidak <laughs> okay, so um, Facebook, selain Sabah Mission Facebook, Kepayan District juga kamu boleh ikuti melalui Facebook ya. 
Okay. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. So I want to right away share with you uh, the first topic is I see. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Can. Okay. All right. So I want to talk first as a first topic elements of true worship. Because if we understand, kalau kita mengerti, yeah, what is worship all about, then as I've told you, kita bisa solve some problems in choosing music in our worship. Okay. Now, uh, first element is reverence and adoration. Yeah, reverence and adoration. There are only three uh, before we have the question and answer. There are only three. And then so Hebrews 12, 20, it says, Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that can be shaken, that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Jadi kita itu, kalau kita we say reverence, what do you mean? What do you mean when we say reverence? Uh, but before that, because true worship occurs in the very presence of God, there should be an atmosphere of reverence or awe. Karena kalau kita itu ber, uh, what is that worship? Uh, if we are worshiping, kita itu di depan, di depan yeah, in front of God, yeah, in the presence of God. So because we are in the presence of God. There should be reverence and all. Reverence itu gimana sih? What is reverence? Reverence in worship refers to deep respect. Oh, and humility demonstrated individual, by individuals or communities towards God. This is, can be expressed through silent contemplation, bowing, and speaking in hushed tones. Jadi, kita tuh bisa speak ya, tapi hushed tones. <laughs> In, in worship that reflect the solemnity of the occasion. Um, not many of our churches today are, uh, I'm very happy to know, yeah? saya, saya happy dengar di Malaysia itu almost yeah, solemn katanya. Very good. That's nice. Okay? Now, what is adoration? It's karena first element itu kan, uh, uh, reverence and adoration. Adoration involves outward expression of praise and love and glorification towards the divine. Okay? Tapi ito di bawa lagi often accompanied by feelings of gratitude or and reverence. Okay? So our worship should have reverence. Jadi, all music, yeah, semua music, lagu-lagu yang kita harus pakai for worship should reflect the reverence that we intend to give to God. When we sing, kalau kita menyanyi, kalau kita, kor kita menyanyi, uh, instrumentalist mau main, itu semua musiknya harus ada itunya, reverence. Yeah? Banyak musik-musik sekarang yang uh, seperti, uh, ya, yeah, nanti we will, uh, we will uh, study it, yeah? Because this is an introduction. So the Lord says, the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before Him in Habakkuk 2.20. So we are reminded that if we are, kalau kita itu worship, ber, uh, berbakti, yeah? kita itu di, uh, in front of God. Now, true worship is directed to God. It is not. It is God-centered, not believer-centered. Yeah. Jadi worship itu bu bukan untuk kita. Yeah. Bukan kita yang center. Yeah. We are not the center. It is God. Jadi kalau kita cari music, uh, tolong cari music yang about God. Because worship is about God. It's not about us. Kadang-kadang kita itu ke gereja. Untuk mencari uh, entertainment, ya kita mau feel oh feel good, oh we're happy, ya. Kadang-kadang kalau kita itu bored, ya di gereja, oh 
not good ya our, our worship not good ya oh yang menyanyi not good ya oh song leader kita not good ya kita itu cari uh, we want to go to church we want to be happy in church sebenarnya kalau kita ke gereja itu we don't look for happiness ya we look for the presence of the lord ya we come to the presence of the lord because when we go to church because of god not because of you know we want to to be entertained in other words worship is about god okay it's not about us kadang-kadang itu musicians yeah when we when we apa uh, when we choose music yeah we want what we want yeah musicians if possible when you want to sing for the lord ask the lord dulu lord what kind of music do you want me to sing yeah yeah song leaders kalau kita mau cari lagu-lagu untuk song service kita itu harus berdoa dulu ya lord apa lagu-lagu yang you mau saya lead ya kita menyanyi di gereja karena worship itu is a spiritual activity jadi kita itu harus ada spiritual preparasi ya preparation spiritual preparation and kita itu harus pikir spiritual juga we must be spiritual karena this is an spiritual activity jadi kita itu harus spiritual ya song leaders main main yang uh, instrumentalist yang core itu semua harus ada uh, preparation because it is about god number two, ah worship kita harus ada order and edification ya yeah. order ya yeah. public worship should be carefully planned to avoid spoiling the reverent atmosphere ya yeah. kadang-kadang kita itu not not prepared enggak tahu ya di di Malaysia ya tapi di Filipina ini kalau sudah sabat sabat school song service ya yeah. song leadernya belum ada jadi siapa aja ditunjuk-tunjuk ya eh kamu aja dong ah uh, song leadernya jadi dia tuh ke depan oke okay, happy sabat saya tuh not prepare ya karena i am not the i am not the song leader song leadernya belum datang jadi ya yeah, ini apa ini ya what kind of worship are we doing for the lord ya yeah, we are not prepared ya yeah. kadang-kadang enggak ada yang menyanyi deh yang menyanyi juga oh sorry ya uh, my i'm not prepared oh, jadi kalau kamu enggak prepare jangan ke atas dong <laughs> bagaimana ya if you're not prepared why you go up don't prepare because i uh, don't go there because you're not prepared ah huh? okay public worship should be carefully planned to avoid spoiling the river atmosphere kadang-kadang kita itu we feel like ah bi- karena sudah biasa ke gereja terus ya jadi ah okay kayak common things ya yeah? kayak common things order in the context of worship order refers to the structured and organized manner in which religious or spiritual services are conducted yeah uh, i'm not sure ya yeah? di di Malaysia kalau Emang we have to ah uh, program we program we program ya yeah? this time and this time you know we ve- we organize everything why because god is a god of order yeah maintaining order in worship provides a sense of predictability and stability for worshipers allowing them to engage more fully in spiritual or religious practice without unnecessary distractions yeah? so if we are prepared then the congregation ya itu ya yeah, will be like uh will experience the continuity of the message of the sabbath sometimes there are so many uh, gaps kalau song leader-nya announce okay kita menyanyi lagu 200 ya lagu 200 pianisnya masih cari mana itu 200 jadi ada gapnya sedikit atau kadang-kadang yang projectnya ya yang kata-kata di apa screen white screen in LCD belum siap jadi orang-orang menunggu menunggu terus jadi 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 ada distractions pikiran worshipers itu nggak ada jadi dia pikir kemana-mana karena we did not organize oke okay? 
Jadi, katanya 1 Corinthians 14.40, everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. Yeah? Okay. Now, the two next is edification. On the other hand, edification in worship refers to purposeful building up, encouragement, and spiritual growth of individuals within the worship of community. Jadi, why we have worship, part of the element of true worship is to edify, to build our church, to prepare, to prepare our church for, for the service on this earth and to prepare them for the second coming. Yeah, this is the most important uh, thing that we prepare our church for the second coming of Jesus. Now, what kind of songs are we singing in our worship? Ah, palagulago kita. Memang, uh, emang ito all the songs that we sing, prepare them, encourage them, build them. Ato, lagulago kita ito only to entertain, to make them happy. Yeah? Seharusnya, kalau karena ini for edification. Semua, please, all uh, all singers, ya. Yeah? All singers, kalau kamu menyanyi, kalau boleh, itu kata-kata harus ada di apa projector. Kalau ada projectornya. Supaya semua orang yang ada, mereka bisa baca dan mengerti apa lagu-lagu itu. Apa artinya lagu itu. Karena kalau mereka mengerti, jadi kalau termengerti jadi itu they are built up ya yeah? they are encouraged tapi kalau memang kadang-kadang enggak ada lah kata-kata di di atas itu di papan di whiteboard ya yeah? the white itunya LCD projector jadi kadang-kadang mereka enggak mengerti apa yang you nyanyikan so kalau boleh semua lagu-lagu yang kita nyanyikan itu taruh di kata-katanya supaya bisa semua kalau bisa di translate juga kalau itu memang Inggris kalau mau di translate ya bagus kalau ada di atas Inggris di bawah bahasa supaya semua mengerti karena worship itu for edification bukan to entertain to make happy so semua yang kita cari semua yang kita prepare semua yang kita itu untuk edification if in the service there should be vocal solos or other special music preference should be given to material with scriptural text and music that is within the singer's range of ability and to be presented to the Lord without display of vocal prowess. The communication, the message should be paramount. Jadi karena ini untuk edification, yang materi kita itu harus scriptural. Yeah? Should be biblical. And then karena Uh, bukan only the material, tapi yang menyanyinya itu harus, of course, within the range. At, and then what? Harus without display. Jadi, dia itu enggak mau show off. ya, yeah? Mau show off the beauty of the voice. Atau gimana tingginya, atau semua bagaimana itu. Jadi, it's not performance. It's not to display how good you are, but how... Uh, the most important thing is the communication of the message. We give the message to uh, the listeners, the congregation. Okay? In other words, public worship is not entertainment. Okay? Because this is for edification. There should be order and edification. And the last one, participation of membership in praise and loving worship. In Okay? True public worship is dynamic, not static. In that, it involves the congregation in much activity. Jadi, kalau bisa, itu ya, public worship kita itu, the congregation must be very busy in participating. Ah, jadi, itu tadi ada yang komen ya, gak banyak yang menyanyi. Ah, nanti itu, tomorrow we will discuss about how to let them sing but congregation itu your job when you come to worship is to sing <laughs> so you pray you sing and listen itu tiga kan kalau kita ke worship we come to listen to pray and to sing not to talk 
enggak berbicara bicara no talking in worship ya kita kalau ke gereja untuk worship we will be active in praying in singing and ah apa itu satunya praying singing and listening more listening 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 and yeah okay as the worshipers comes to the house of god to offer a sacrifice of praise let be with the best possible music ah harus the best music ya kita bawa ke uh, kebaktian kita careful planning of every musical element of the service is essential so that the congregation is led to be participant and not spectator jadi kita itu harus banyak activities for the congregation yeah congregation see, how how do you participate itu yang amennya itu harus say amen ya kan itu partisipasi itu after you if if you heard something you say amen ya yeah? enggak ada lagi amin kita sekarang harus sekarang di, disuruh ya kalau bicaranya Yesus mau datang amin saudara saudara kita disuruh masih di, harus disuruh untuk kita kasih amin sebenarnya kalau kita kasih amin itu itu partisipasi karena kita mendengar kita were listening and we participate in as we listen nah kadang-kadang juga kalau ada yang menyanyi kita itu amin ya tapi uh, be careful. Kita itu kadang-kadang we say amen tanpa mengerti apa yang dinyanyikan. Karena kita cuma enjoy the song, enjoy the voice. Ya, kita feel good. Jadi kita say amen. Ah. Itu bahaya. Jangan say amen tanpa mengerti apa itu yang dinyanyikan. Karena kalau karena kan amen itu bilang kalau kita bilang amen kan itu apa? I agree. Ya, yeah, I agree. Ya. Yeah. Tapi kalau you enggak mengerti tapi you say agree then, tapi jadi you bohong dong. Ya. Yeah. So you are what? You are lying. Oh, jadi you listen. Jadi harus mendengar apa yang dinyanyikan dan baca itu kata-kata di atas dan kalau boleh pas ada wak, pas ada kata-kata yang bagus atau message yang you dengar you langsung ah huh, talk to God. Oh God, thank you for this message. Ya. Yeah. Nah, itu baru worship. Kalau kita itu mendengar tapi tanpa talking to God, itu bukan worship, itu listening only. Itu only what? Attending, watching, ya. Yeah. Tapi punya kalau ada yang menyanyi Amazing Grace how sweet the sound. Jadi you mengerti and then you talk to God Lord yes you are really amazing you forgave me itu baru worship tapi kalau kita itu mendengar wow good voice beautiful music itu bukan worship you are not worshiping you are not worshiping you are appreciating only the music yeah you are not worshiping kalau mau worship pas dengar musik-musik itu ya yeah? Jadi itu kita aktif, aktif listening, aktif praying, aktif understanding, aktif in everything, and then we pray to God. And then kalau disuruh nyanyi, kita menyanyi. Jadi kita bukan ex, bukan spectator, bukan penonton kita. Kita itu ya di dalam kebaktian ya, yang di depan itu orang-orang di depan itu namanya worship leaders, oke? Okay? Oke, okay, mereka tuh worship leaders yang menyanyi, yang presider, yang kasih doa, itu semua worship leaders. Yang di yang congregation itu mereka apa? Mereka itu worshiper. Mereka itu yang acting the worship. They are doing the worship. Jadi siapa yang penonton worship kita? Tuhan. God is the audience in worship, bukan? Ya. Yeah? We, the congregation-nya bukan penonton. ya. Yeah? Congregation bukan penonton, bukan datang di situ untuk menonton. No, you are doing the worship. Tuhan yang penonton. Dia lihat apa yang kita uh, bikin dalam uh, worship itu. True worship is also engaged in with great joy. ya. Yeah? Kadang-kadang kalau kita lihat ya, yeah, member-member kita, during worship 
O kaya niya, not very happy. <laughs> Song leader kita juga, kalau datang ya, kalau di Philippines. Okay, uh, happy Sabbath to everyone. Welcome to our Sabbath school this morning. Oh, bukan happy ya. Itu memang, itu orang Advent ya. Not happy oh, during Sabbath. <laughs> And then if we let people, if we see people around, everybody like, you know, ada yang orang bilang, you know, orang-orang uh, Advent seperti mereka itu uh, uh, during worship, like their face itu baru makan lemon ya. Baru makan, baru, baru tasted le lemon. Jadi muka mereka ya not, not happy. Nah, apalagi kalau kita menyanyi ya. We say, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Bukan rejoice. Mukanya enggak rejoice ya. No, when we worship, we we also engage in with great joy. Ah, itu worshipnya. Ya, karena itu participation of the congregation. Ya, we should be oh, besok ah, we will talk about it more about ya. In your presence is fullness of joy according to Psalm 16:11 yeah? this quarter yeah we talk about psalms it's very good we learn a lot true worship involves the heart of the believer huh? jadi if we join the worship if we because it's part, part of our participation we put our hearts always in every yeah setiap part itu huh? setiap bagian di worship itu We put our heart. Kita itu, we put everything. Yeah. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Katanya si Colossians 3.23. And what has happened, in, ini yang saya bilang. Jadi, amen itu, kita, uh, if we can encourage more people to say amen, yeah? Yeah? it will be a good you know, atmosphere of worship because people are participating. Okay. Now, I'd like you to think about this, but an hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such people, the Father seeks to be his worshipers. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. We have to understand. Kita harus mengerti why we worship and who we worship. Ya, karena our father Tuhan mencari orang-orang yang true worshipers. Ah. Jadi jangan-jangan kita itu false worshipers when we come to worship because we don't understand why we worship and because kita enggak mengerti siapa yang kita worship itu. We don't know. Ah, uh, we just come karena itu biasa ke ke gereja kalau orang Advent sa uh, uh, Sabbath day ya. No, jangan begitu karena God is looking for true worshipers. Okay, as an introduction ya. Uh, we want to understand what is worship. I think that's all for the first part. Now if we have some questions, uh, we will have uh, sharing or whatever. Maybe I start first sir. I say please. Um Oke, okay, tadi tadi saya bilang um, ya yeah. when we sing we should not show off we don't need to show the range that we we can we can reach. Tapi um, how about the the sopranos or the basses yang memang memang ada range yang tinggi atau rendah? They they can on maybe they enjoy singing because that's their range. So, gimana itu sir? Ah uh, okay. Ah, uh, for choir, for choir, yeah. You're saying you're saying you're talking about choir. The one with the one with I I said is the solo, right? The one that I quote itu kalau ada solo, yeah, oh, okay. kalau ada solo because in solo. Uh, many times uh, today, if you're a soloist, you tend to apa, show off how good you are. Yeah? Apalagi style sekarang, ya? Di, ah, 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 di gitu -gitu, ya? whatever. But for choir, there is, uh, because you, 
you have you're singing four voices so there's soprano alto tenor bass and it's good it is good we we cannot say uh they are showing off no because it's the demand of the piece right it's not showing off that's the demand of the piece so it's different when we talk about the solos and the choir okay now, thank you maybe thank you. maybe the choir will have another way of showing off like uh maybe the their dress right maybe their dress is you know they show off like so uh so gorgeous yeah and then the way they walk like as if it's not worship as if it's in a concert that's another another uh another uh, way of showing off or like if they sing high they they look very proud and in their heart they don't really worship but they want to show off that's another way okay but of course we cannot judge that we cannot judge that it depends on them what we only judge is the what we see okay so if we see that they are they look proud when they walk and everything then uh it could be that they are they they are proud okay and so when they go out they are proud we can he listen to them like you see we're very good you know they they had a very loud, loud amen because of that and then because we're very good and then they are very proud yeah now we know where they are proud but the one i i showed you the quotation is more of the soloist all right sir okay siapa lagi yang ada soalan boleh tulis di kalau kamu malu-malu bersuara boleh tulis di chat box Okay, ada ada sini betul ini ramai yang menyanyi hanya menun, memenuhi tuntutan acara tanpa menghayati lirik lagu. Oke, okay, ada lagi yang mau bertanya? Kalau tidak ada, um, seoblimar masih boleh teruskan mungkin? Ya, yeah, still we have still time for questions. Teruskan, Sir. Kalau ada kalau ada soalan, ada pertanyaan baru baru saya baca. Yeah, I was I was thinking oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, what it seems uh, when you say about the uh, singing used for worship is you know, sometimes we have a group singing and uh, many, many of those people who are singing in the group, they're malu-malu, they don't want to sing loud because their voice is not very good. But uh, when we think of the spirit of worship, uh, the true spirit of worship, which is supposed to be ada uh, semangat, right? Okay, with enthusiasm, with the true spirit of worshiping God. So I was encourage them to you know that i think sing loud with joyful heart with a spirit that you are praising god so the words come out clear rather yeah. than just opening the lips so so softly thank you sir for the comment yeah sir sir oblimar ada satu pertanyaan okay let me read yeah Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Ada lagu rohani ber, berjudul I'll Fly Away. Saya pernah mendengar seorang pendeta Adventist mengatakan lagu ini tidak menggambarkan life after death seperti ajaran SDA. Lirik seperti ini, Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. When I die, I'll fly to the land where joy never ends. Yeah, so that's all. So the question so, is, dia punya uh, macam pertanyaannya tidak <laughs> tidak ada. Uh, next si Noah, pertanyaannya, maybe he wants your comment on Lisa. Saya pernah mendengar pendeta Adventist yeah, mengatakan. Ya, yeah, teruskan, teruskan. Ya, yeah, uh, soalan saya, saya mahu pencurahan because 
Sometimes we sing this song in a church. Some glad morning when this life is over begitu. Jadi uh, saya pernah mendengar seorang pendeta Adventist yang mengatakan uh, lagu ini kurang sesuai sebab dia tidak menggambarkan kalau pas kita mati kita tidak akan fly. Kita akan berehat hingga Yesus datang ke- kembali ke dunia untuk kedua kali. Jadi sampai sekarang saya mendengar uh, Uh, pendeta itu masa saya masih kecil jadi sampai sekarang saya mahu pencerahan tentang lirik lagu ini itu saja, thank you ya yeah. jadi kita itu we can discuss more of it ya nanti ada prinsip in choosing music ya yeah. oke, okay. okay. after this we will discuss it also ya yeah. betul uh, kita itu orang advent we should Choose songs that is according to the Bible. Yeah. Yes. Kalau, if it's not according to the truth of the Bible, then we don't sing it. Yeah, that's the uh, the best answer for now. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, ada satu pertanyaan lagi. Apa nasihat untuk orang yang suka mahu melayani melalui lagu, tapi tidak mempunyai kemahiran menyanyi yang baik kadang-kadang pandai out of tune can you i didn't understand some of the words okay um okay some people um they like to sing they like to yeah they they like to sing but the voice is pandai of tune mm. so So how how what advice would you give to to people like that? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so if you think if you think you kalau uh, memang you pikir you don't have a good voice atau out of tune, then you need help, ya. Yeah? You need help. So you try to find, ya, yeah? cari orang yang bisa help. Mungkin bisa ambil voice lesson, less voice vocal bisa atau uh, get someone uh at the ming, ming, mungkin you you join you join choir you join other group supaya dilatih suaranya ya karena suara itu harus dilatih aja nanti itu if you practice your voice it will improve ya yeah, it will improve saya ada members members ya di gereja-gereja di core juga yang not very good voice tapi itu di train ha huh? Saya punya student sekarang dia itu out of tune. Ya, setelah dua bulan, ya, dua bulan 8 kali less ya. Sudah ada apa improvement-nya. Jadi if we want to if we want to serve the Lord, yeah, why not train ourselves so that we can sound better ya yeah, in our singing gitu. Jadi nasihat saya dari saya itu ya learn ini di YouTube sudah banyak sekali ya. Trip tip tips on how to be good voice, good singer. Tapi kalau mau ambil les, ya bolehlah. Sama saya juga bisa. <laughs> ya, yeah. so boleh train, boleh dilatih. Nah, dilatih. Ada lagi se, macam mana, macam mana yang menyanyi solo yang tidak menunjuk nunjuk, yang not showing off. How to sing without showing off? Sebab memang kalau mau nyanyi harus menyampaikan lagu itu dengan baik. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, kalau kita bilang show off itu one thing is like you are trying to imitate. Kita mau imitate how entertainment people ya yeah, in the entertainment. Tapi kita menyanyi uh, apa? Okay, for example, uh, kita nyanyi Amazing Grace. Okay. Kalau cuma regular singing amazing grace how sweet the sound. Okay. That's already the common. I mean the the regular singing, yeah, without showing. But if we want to add, kalau kita itu mau show off, kita want to sound like other singers, like good singers, yeah. We want to try to imitate apalagi pop pop style, yeah. You can say, Amazing Grace. 
what are we showing off? What we're showing off a style of an entertainment to entertain people. Ah, gitu ya. So do not adopt. Yeah, jangan adopt style of the entertainment so that you will not show off. Oh, for example, kita juga menyanyi yang uh, supposed to be not high, but we make it so high and so long. Yeah. Uh, for example, oh, see, na 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 like me. <laughs> What was was lost? Okay, most of this entertainment style is showing off the capacity. Now, in worship, we don't need that because we are more on the message, not on the technique. So, when you sing in worship, you don't show technique. You don't show. You don't show off the capacity. We know you can sing very, very high or show, you know, this kind of style. We don't want to see that. We want to see the meaning of the song from your heart when you sing it. Yeah? Because you're singing in front of the Lord. Mm, okay. Maybe I would like to add something, sir. Please, please. Yeah. Um, mungkin... Mungkin um, secara sengaja, we intentionally mau, walaupun kita boleh, kita boleh, um, mungkin kita ada kemampuan untuk menyanyi dengan cara yang uh, macam itu, entertainer. Uh, maksud saya, um, kalau kita tengok itu artis-artis yang menyanyi, kemudian kalau kita mau cuba ikut, kita boleh menyanyi macam itu, but in worship, uh, bila kita menyanyi masa worship, um, even though we know that we have that capacity to sing like that, but kita sengaja, um, apa itu, kalau stewardship bilang, um, apa sudah itu, uh, kita sengaja untuk Tidak mau buat itu bila kita tahu yang itu akan distract um, other worshippers untuk worship kepada Tuhan. Boleh difahami kan tu? <laughs> In order for for us to convey the message supaya message itu tidak terganggu, maka we sing it. Dengan cara yang sederhana. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ada ada lagi uh, beberapa pertanyaan, sir. Okay. Uh, Pastor Bernard, biblical atau tidak? Ya, yeah. itu pertanyaan tentang um, I'll fly away tadi itu kan? Ya. Yeah. Okay, so satu lagi dari Tiongin. Pastor was telling us to choose the best music. Do you think by using guitars and drums weren't interrupting the worship? Oh, maybe we, we can answer that later during the... Okay. Yeah. Ada topik nanti kan? Untuk yang ini. Okay, so next. Mau pencerahan lagu? Pencerahan lagu. April. Maksudnya? Oh. Itu yang untuk soalan yang I'll fly away batu tadi. Oh, oke, okay, oke. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so saya rasa itu sudah apa tadi kan? Sudah dijawab. Oh, oke. Okay. So Puan Suzy juga pertanyaan dia kali sesuai kalau oke. Okay. Bagaimana dengan penyanyi The Heritage Singers? Adakah kita digalakkan menggunakan talenta kita untuk melayani Tuhan sebegitu dan dalam masa yang sama memperolehi satu recognition? What's that? Did you understand that? Uh, the how about the heritage singers? Um, nah, kasih coba kamu kasih translate dulu nih. Yeah, yeah. Um, how about the heritage singers? Hi, my name is Priscilla. Okay. Um, my question is like this, Doctor. How about heritage singers? Are we going to use our talent to sing like them in an in another way? 
to to have a recognition like like uh, the, like some kind of uh, like uh, all over the world we are being recognized as a singer that that in the same time we sing and praise the lord but you know my butt is a uh, kind of i have uh, so much things to say here but macam we uh more to the world what do you think doctor uh, sorry itu saja soalan saya itu thank you I didn't get so much of that. You didn't. Can Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yes. Can. Please. Try again. Uh, my question is the heritage singers. Yes. They are the. We can say I, because I love the way they sing, the way they praise the Lord, the way they brought the congregation to worship together. And at the same time, they have the talent to spread the gospel, to spread the news, to spread the 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 coming of the Lord. My question is, are we going to use our talent to earn recognition, instead, recognition to earn recognition instead of, like you said, we worship the Lord not for ourselves, but we worship the Lord only for God. Okay, am I? Can somebody help me to clear this? <laughs> uh, what is the relationship between the heritage singers and the recognition? What is what is the point there? Uh, my point is like this, Pastor. Um, let's say we okay. The heritage singers, they are the I I love them, but. Can we as a my question we... is huh? are we going to to earn? Yeah, to earn much like the platinum whatsoever, the, the recognition by the the world. You know? I think what, what he's trying she's trying to say is that uh, you are using your talent. So that people will recognize you ah, yeah. by seeing you. And at the same time, you earn you earn so much money. Yeah, to earn some fame, maybe yeah. from that. That's that what I'm saying, doc doctor. Oh, so uh, what you're saying is uh, if if you want to use your musical talent to to earn professionally, Something like that, and to have recognition, is that like the one? Yes. At Seven Day Adventist. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. What do you think? Oh yeah, we always advise our musicians to be very careful when you want to sing professionally and engage to to the world, you know, to the world system, because usually. If you join the world in uh, using your talent, your musical talent, basically, you will uh, compromise many things, yeah. Like for example, nanti sabat niya, because you're you're being paid, yeah. If you sing for them, and then they will you will be under contract, yeah. I have a friends, yeah, sa ada ada friends dulu as a choir in our school. Mereka itu sign contract, tapi concertnya, they did not realize the concertnya can be moved to a Friday night or Saturday afternoon. Ta karena sudah salah ada contract. Yeah? So they have to, they have to sing on the Sabbath afternoon in a concert. Because if they will not follow, then mereka itu bisa di ini kan? They, 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 they'll be fine. So be careful. If you want to use your talent, to earn money for the world. Okay, be careful. Karena nanti ada compromise nanti. Just be careful. If you sing for the wedding of non-Adventists, if you want to give concert to, you know, to non-Adventists, yeah, be careful. Karena nanti your talent, even though how good you are, and because you want to be recognized by the world, then it's very, very dangerous that you will be compromising your faith Nanti nggak ke gereja lagi karena harus datang ke program mereka Friday night or Saturday. That's the problem. 
did did we answer some of the questions there? Thank you so much, Doctor. The yeah, people... just be careful. Be careful yeah. when you join. Uh, use your talent for that. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to go to the next topic now. Right, Rosalie? Um, okay, or, now. Or now are is... we, it's okay? Uh, actually, there's one more question in okay. the in YouTube. Okay, Chat. okay. Okay, uh, dari Herman Sani, selamat petang. Apakah kita perlu melakukan praktis lagu sehari sebelum ibadah dalam kapasiti menjadi pemimpin as worship worship leader? Do we need to practice one day before before worship before the worship? One day before. What do you mean? Yeah. All, all the participants? I mean, all um, the, all as, the as, as a leader, as the worship leader. Uh, what kind of worship leader that she's pertaining? Uh, song leader. Song, song leader. leader. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the song leaders. Uh, do we have a topic about the song leaders? <laughs> Maybe if we don't have it, this time maybe we can arrange for <laughs> yeah song leaders must be what must be prepared not only one day before you know <laughs> as soon as you kalau sudah lihat kapan you bisa menjadi song leader nanti ada di jadwal kan ada jadwalnya pasti di gereja oh ini menggut apa bulan depan saya itu pemimpin lagu ya sahabat pertama Pas you saw the schedule, itu harus sudah mulai lat latih. Yeah? Practice. You have to practice. You have to be prepared. Yeah? You're, you prepare your conducting, prepare the way, uh, pre practice the lyrics, the tune. Mungkin kadang-kadang itu salah your tune. Yeah? And then the timingnya, the practice with the pianist, practice with the guitarist, practice with everybody that will be joining you as you lead as a song leader yeah you need to practice not only one day before yeah when i was a, a student i have to practice every day for the whole week i have to practice how to say this word how to pronounce how to express and my conducting i have to practice in front yeah the depan kaca yeah the depan uh, mirror yeah so we need to practice why yeah because usually if you don't practice we don't you know in music when you practice 100 percent you perform only 50 <laughs> percent when when you're there already uh, you should have berkurang itu ya the practice so you need 100 percent supaya nanti itunya ah uh, 100 juga when you perform yes we need to practice we have to encourage uh, all our musicians all our song leaders all our uh, what do you call that our uh, worship leaders to practice sebenarnya ini juga yang prayer harus practice yang presider harus practice you need to practice how to smile yeah yeah how to say happy sabbath you have to practice everybody should practice before going up be ready not only spiritually but you know the skill you need to practice why because you are doing it for the lord we want excellence you know we want we want something better not common in front of the lord during worship all right sir um i think we need to go to the next one but let me just read one comment here dari jade rosen I think uh, this is this is um, um, replying or in response to Mrs. Priscilla's question. Tadi, I think when we share the talent that God has given us and sing out there, it's natural for people to like and recognize it because it does sound good. Even though there is nothing inherently wrong with this, it can be risky because fame, 
selalunya leads to pride. Christian artists and singers need extra effort to stay humble and prayerful in or in order to stay on track with God. Yes, amen. That's true. Amen. That's true. Okay. Um, saya rasa kita pergi kepada sesi yang seterusnya, yang kedua, topik yang kedua, what is good music for SDAs? <tik> 